guest this evening is one of the greatest comedians of all time. He would tell you he was the greatest comedian of all time. I'd say he's one of the greatest comedians of all time. <laughs> all right, he's the greatest comedian of all time. <laughs> he's got a stand-up tour underway. August the 6th, he's playing Mohegan Sun. August the 20th, the Arcada Theatre in St. Charles, Illinois. And then September the 16th and 17th, he's in Vancouver. <sighs> <laughs> Did the lights just go out there? The lights changed there a bit, didn't they? No? Ooh la la! With me, they did. They did, didn't they, Jeff? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Take a look at this. He's all mine. We're going to have a fun-filled week. Just the two of us. <laughs> Get me in. <laughs> Mr. Warm, the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody. <laughs> That was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was not bad. I thought it was like, they're glad to see you. I'm still a little, I don't know, but... You don't have to yell. I'm right on top of you. Well, I don't know. I like to make sure you can hear me. Okay, that's it for me. <laughs> I like that you're wearing tweed. Is that tweed? What, are you blind? No, I'm just saying. It's, it's a tweed. It's I don't know. Nice. Well, I'm not in the garment business. It's a jacket. I but paid no, for it. I got it. It's nice. It's tweed. a nice jacket. I'm trying to give you a compliment. That's all. Jesus, you're getting oh. out of control. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm overcompensating. Ah, uh, don't worry. This show's going to stay on as long as I say so. <laughs> nah, it's great. And, and nice to see you folks. Because, you know, you work a lot of shows. It's, supposed to, it's in the dark. You know, you don't see the people. Yeah, yeah. But here you see the people. Yeah. And maybe we should be in the dark. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Don't, don't put them down. They're all dressed pretty bad. <laughs> Look at this guy sitting here in his underwear. I love when they come in with the jeans. Hey, Rose, what time does the show go on? <laughs> You get the class. You get the class. Did you that scratchy suggestive Well, thing I got a fungus. It's from the Navy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's a, this is CBS, buddy. You can't be scratching yourself like that. I can do whatever I want. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You hey. came into my dressing room and I got ticks for crying out loud. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that again. No. <laughs> So annoyed with Yeah, me. no, come on now. Hey, listen, uh, the uh, the stand-up tour, right? You're going out and playing the Mohegan Sun? And, uh, oh, yeah, Mohegan yeah. Sun. Those Indian places are great, you know. Now, be especially careful, when, please. No, they're great. They're great people, especially when the show's on. They keep, hey, hey, no, hey, hey, hey. I don't mind like, doing a show, but, you know, the audience, they're all standing going, oh, 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 CBS in no way endorses the views yeah. of Mr. Rickles or any of the... Uh, don't the, worry. Uh, With your job, you're shaky. Don't worry about it. They're going to dump you and it's over. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, you, can I talk? I'm yeah. a guest. I beg your pardon. What the hell is this? A no, tournament? I'm, I'm sorry. you got to fight to talk with this guy, if I try not to. <laughs> nice to see... Are you J Japanese? Chinese? Are you t Chinese? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We Jews, we love you, especially on Sunday. <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off. Why, I can talk. China, very pretty girl. You can't talk to the Chinese like that. We owe them money. <laughs> as long as they keep doing the laundry, everything's oh. good. Oh. Hey, 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 like hey. he says. For come the money on. you're paying, that's a funny joke. Oh, come on, man. Gee. I don't worry about so, it. So, let's talk to me about this, uh, doing the stand-up. Don't beg. I'll talk to you. All no right. Beg. Well, I'm just saying, though, I'm, I'm worried about you. You've got a hectic schedule. You got, you got no, the thank Sun. God, you know, you're working. Mohegan Sun is great. Tom, Tom Cantone, he's, he's the big, big guy there. You don't know him. He's a nice right, guy. No, I don't know the big guy. Stands out in front going, Nicky Waka, Nicky. <laughs> you give him a cookie and he goes away. Real pain in the do you still enjoy it? Do you still enjoy doing the stand-up? Uh, well, sure. Really? Gives the wife a chance to put on the jewelry and stand in the house and go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Sure, I, you know what? It's the traveling. You're a pilot now. Yeah, well, I've been a pilot for a while, but I don't fly myself. <laughs> well, you can bet your bird I'm not going to go with you, I'll tell you no. that. No, did I, you do I, flying in the Navy? No, you did some flying in no, the Navy. No, no, Jews don't fly in the Navy. <laughs> we just stand on the airport and say, here, buy me a plane. <laughs> no, I, 
I was in, I was, uh, yeah, I was in World War II. The big I one. know, I know. <laughs> you were, you were in Ireland, walking around, going, got to get him. <laughs> I've never even been to Ireland. I'm not from Ireland. I've never been to Ireland. Where, where, where are you from? I'm from Scotland. What? That's better. Yes, it's better. <laughs> Sit you know, around all day long going, all right, Charlie, pump it up. <laughs> Pumping your bagpipes. Get a day job, for crying out loud. I'm an American now. I'm not... I, I'm... Let me see your papers. I don't even know... Look, I got a tattoo. I got a tattoo. I got a tattoo right see, there. <laughs> don't... I, I tattoo sailors. That, that shows like you've like you got a lot of class. Don't worry about the tattoos. You don't need the tattoos. You're a big star now. Hide the tattoo. In the Navy, when a guy had a tattoo, it was supposed to be tough. Yeah. And you're not tough. I met you backstage. You know, you... <laughs> You're a nice guy with a lot of class, you know, and, and you got a wonderful... Oh, by the way, I saw your baby. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, my six-month-old yeah. baby just has met a, you. Has yeah. a wonderful baby, and the kid's like this. <laughs> no, it's adorable. Do you know what's amazing, though? Uh, I mean, I mean this with a great deal of respect. He looks exactly like you right now. <laughs> In fact, it was a Tuesday night. Hey! Yeah. No, no, God bless it. It's a, and, and Megan, your wife, is, is beautiful, really. She is. I've, I've, she's got very bad eyesight, clearly. But uh, <laughs> do you know she has no sense of smell? What do you do, sit in the bed all night going... <sighs> no, no, no. I love you, honey, but you stink! No, no, no. Anyway. She has no sense of smell. She can't smell when I smell. She had, had some kind of accident when she was a kid. She can't smell anything. Well, so what? That's good news for a guy like me. <laughs> Put her in an institution and forget about her. For <laughs> Can't smell. Look at the way this conversation's going. I went out to she stinks, which is a stupid joke to say. And you call her about how she smells. I'm not here to discuss your wife's high hygiene. I'm here to discuss why you're still on the air. Well, it's clearly an oversight. Things go a no. little late at night. Yeah, by, the way, by the way, you're doing so well. I'm very happy for you. I really mean that. Isn't he? He's, he's really good. Did you ever, did you ever in your life work with a partner? Did you ever have a, like a, a buddy or a sidekick or something you did your act with? No, somebody, you know, walk around behind me and check if somebody's trying to pick me off or something like that. But yeah. No, no, I've always been alone because greatness doesn't need a partner. That's what I try. I, see. I, just, I just sit and I take a shower and, a, and the water runs up. I go, <laughs> my God, who am I? Oh. <laughs> the other equipment just goes, eh, eh. <laughs> When you're married 46 years, the wife says, I'm in love, and I say, I am too. Give me a minute, I gotta go in the other room and think about it. Anyway, uh, 46 years married, you, you should that's see amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. You, you, on Hollywood Boulevard. Psst, sailor. Anyway, uh, I kid about her being a hooker and all that stuff, but she's... <laughs> she's not, I know your wife's a very dignified and classy woman. Oh, no, you don't know when you're alone, boy. You don't know. Yeah. When she does that bathrobe trick, forget about it. <laughs> she no. does the bathrobe trick? Why, why are you getting horny? What's the matter with you? You told me about the bathrobe no, trick. No, we got class. 46... Uh, do you make love often? <laughs> ah! You see? I give him a little sex and when he went to... Be, you wet your pants just then, didn't you? <laughs> I was going to say, on my own or with somebody else. That's all I was going to ask. <coughs> now, sex is... See, you young people remember. Sex is beautiful, but the basis is to be a friend and to care about each other and to wake up in the morning and take a pop, but then forget about it a little bit. <laughs> but don't base your whole life on boom, 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 you know. I haven't, and that's why this leg don't work. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a commercial break? Hey, it's your show. Do whatever you want. All right, we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Don.